We're here in Berlin for IFA 2014, and I'm joined by a familiar face, Andrew Jenham, Managing Director of Panasonic UK and, and Ireland, to talk about your strategy going forward. Yeah, um, good afternoon. Okay, thank you very much, Andrew. Good <laughs> afternoon to you too. Uh, let's start with the obvious question. Um, in this post-plasma world, how are you going to remain relevant in the TV marketplace? Well, I think given the fact that Panasonic's always been synonymous with best picture quality, the big uh, grail for us really was delivering um, a, a new technology product that delivers even better picture performance than we could deliver with our state-of-the-art um, ZT series. So we've moved a step ahead today by launching the 900 series, where we're really raising the bar and bringing what I would say um, professional monitor quality to the consumer home. Now the, um, the, the 900 series is an LED uh, TV, mm. not an area that necessarily people associate with Panasonic previously. Obviously there are a lot of established players in that marketplace. Sure. How do you think that 900 can compete in what is a very crowded marketplace? Well we've, we've really worked on picture performance, picture quality, so backlit um, with very, very precise uh, picture control, coupled with 8,000 points of colour reproduction control, we think really sets the product apart. It really is the first reference status monitor design product to come into the consumer space. So we're very excited about it and we think that the, the heartland of consumer Plasma, uh, Panasonic fans will, will love this product. Um, obviously it's an Ultra HD 4K TV. I guess the obvious other question is where are we going to get the content from? So how are people going to get content for their new um, 900 series? Right, well today we've announced that uh, Netflix in 4K, Amazon 4K services will be available on this product. Uh, and actually for those people who purchase the 800 series, Netflix will be available on that platform as well. So we're very pleased to, uh, to extend the reach. So we think early stages, content will be streamed. Of course, the broadcasters are working very hard on solutions uh, to bring 4K uh, over, over terrestrial broadcasting. Any possibility of a disc-based 4K format going well, forward? I, I think in time, uh, that, that's very much being studied. Uh, there's no clear uh, roadmap at the moment, but I know uh, a lot of work's been done in that space. Now you've been working very hard to try and get plasma light performance out of an LED TV. Mm. The obvious question then becomes, well what about OLED, because clearly that has the superior blacks natively anyway. Mm. Um, what is the news in terms of Panasonic's OLED development? We, we are looking at how we evolve into the OLED space, but again it's about the, the relevancy of the product, the performance and the price. So it's getting that balance of, uh, of all the factors in, in line to ensure that we, we give the consumer value for money and, and the best possible picture performance. So for now we're focusing very much on LED technology, backlit, very very precise uh, control of colour, uh, obviously using our expertise in Hollywood labs to deliver uh, reference status quality and we're really looking forward to the products being reviewed. Uh, since Panasonic did pull out the plasma market, obviously there's been a lot of rumours flying around that maybe the TV division might be in trouble. Has it got a history, uh, future going forward? Absolutely, that's, that's not the case at all. The technology, as I think we, we talked about last time we met, uh, had reached the, the end of its, uh, its life cycle curve in terms of capability, particularly around 4K and potentially 8K in the future. So it was the right time for us to divest uh, the plasma plant. Of course, it left a lot of fans uh, looking for a solution. So again, no, this is, this is the answer. Uh, coming, coming to uh, a technology which we believe will deliver even better picture performance to our, to our customers and to our fans. And at the end of the press conference there was another yeah. big surprise when you relaunched the Technics brand. What was the uh, logic behind this? Well, the, the logic is, uh, as, as we said in the press conference, high, high resolution audio is really on the march and I think customers are ready for a far better audio experience. So we're delivering best picture, we really want to deliver best sound and really excite consumers to discover music again. And I think the combination of the, of the two technologies together really will knock people's socks off. So we're very excited about Technics coming back. Personally, since being a young lad, I've been, I've been a Technics fan, so I'm delighted to be, uh, to be looking forward to launching that uh, to the UK market. I think I fall into that category too. I had a Technics player when I was a kid. Yeah. Andrew, thank you very much. Pleasure.